This is Puzzle 75 from Kappa Sudoku Puzzles, Volume 448. It's a four-star puzzle, the hardest in this book, but not a real hard puzzle. But even though it wasn't too hard, it was fun to solve. I tried to be creative while solving by not just solving numbers by sections or cross-hatching, but I found lots of patterns as I went. Let's get started and I'll show you what I mean. First thing I noticed is there's a 3, 4, and 9 in this row, and that makes these 3, 4, 9 triplets. So that leaves 2, 5, and 6 in this box. We can't solve the 3, 4, or 9, or the 2, 5, or 6, but that tells us, tells us these, these are 1, 7, 8 triplets. We can't even solve those. But we, what we can do now is with this 2 and this 2 here, we, can, we see that's a 2. Because these are 1, 7, 8s, so we can't, so neither of these can be a 2. So Then we've got um, a right angle pattern right here in box 4 with a 5 here and a 5 here, so that makes that a 5. And, with, and then we've also got a 6 and a 6 there, so that makes that a 6. And now, these two 5 6s now, we can solve the 2, because we've got a 5 and a 6 there. That 5 there, that makes that a 6 and that a 5. We've got another right angle pattern here. We've got a 9 here and a 9 here, so that's a 9. And then with these nines, we can put a nine there. Nine. And nine. All right. And now we've got a two, let's see, two, nine, three, eight in this row here. There's a three and a nine here already. So these are two and eight. We can solve them. And then we got a 2, 7 here and a 2, 7 here. That means these have to be 2 and 7, and we can solve those. All right, and then we got 7, 7, 7, and 2, 2, 2. All right, now. Remember our uh, 178s here we, we found earlier? We've got a gate pattern right here with a 7 and an 8 going through it. We've got a 7 and an 8 here too, so these are 7, 8 twins now. That makes that a 1. The only number left in this row. Alright, and now let's see. We've got a corner pattern in box 6 now with a 6, 9, 2, and 3 in this row. So that's 6, 9, and 2 are already in there. So that makes one of these a 3. And we've got another gate pattern right here with a 3 going through it. So we have ghost trees here. That means one of these is a 3. So we have ghost trees there, ghost trees there. And that 3, we can put in that 3 right there. All right, let's look at column six here. We're missing one, two, three, four, five, seven, and eight. With that seven and eight, we can put the five in, and then that's a seven, and that's an eight. So we've completed that column. And now with these sevens, we can put a seven here. And remember, there were one of these had to be a three, so we can put a three in there. Now we're missing one, four, and eight. And four and eight there, so we put a one there. Okay. All right. 
and uh, with this 7 now we can fill in the 7 and 8 that we found earlier. And now let's look at box 9 here. What are we missing? 4, 5, and 6. That's a 5 or a 6 there. 5, 5. So that's a 5. 4 and 6. We're only missing 4 and 8 here. So let's see. we got a 4 there. Alright, that makes that a 1. So we're missing 3 and 6. We can't do anything with that. Alright, now let's look at 1, 5, and 6 right here. There's only three numbers that we have left here. 5, 5, so that's a 5 right there. So we can solve those three numbers. We have 4 and 7 missing there, so there's a 7. Now we've got a 3 or a 3 and 6 here and 4 and 6 here. And a 1 and 5 there, we can finish. We have a loner cell right here. It's the only number missing in this row, but a quicker way to find it is that number has to be one of these six numbers. That's a loner cell, and that's a technique you can find on sudokuprimer.com. And the patterns and techniques I've been talking about, there's a pattern section and a technique section out here on, in this website, plus lots of other Sudoku information. So check that out if you want to learn more about the patterns and techniques that, that I talk about. But this is a loner cell, so that's got to be one of these six numbers. Uh, five to seven. Are there already four nine six there's a nine and six so that's a four all right now let's see we've got let's see what we're missing here three and four are missing here so we can solve those now that's the first number of these triplets that we were able to find remember we've had these three four nines here at the very beginning. We still have a 3 and a 9 here that we can't solve because we've got 3, 9 there and no 3's or 9's here. But we have ghost 3's here so we can solve these 3 6's here and these 4 6's now. Because that makes that a 3 and that a 6 and that a 4 and makes that a 6. Now we're only missing two numbers here, 1 and 8. We can solve those. Alright, only got one number left here, and that's a 4. And we still can't solve these 3 and 9s here. Let's see, we've got 1 and 9 here, and 3 and 6 here. So there's a 1, and that's a 9. Okay, with that 9, we can finally solve our 3, 9 there. And then we have 3 and 6 left there. And we've got it. Alright, so when you're solving puzzles, a lot of times I'll start by looking for all the ones, all the twos, all the threes, as you know, uh, solving sections as I call it, or uh, many people call it cross hatching. Um, but sometimes that gets kind of boring. So I look for uh, kind of creative ways to, uh, to uh, solve these. Uh, this puzzle or solve puzzles and in this case I found those triplets right up first right at first and found lots of patterns in these boxes and going through those uh, made it quite a bit more interesting well thanks for watching and I'll see you next week